In many cases in your charts, you want to highlight a specific bar or a specific value and you want to do it dynamically. The problem is for charts, you don't have something called conditional formatting. You only have it for cells. So I'm going to show you here a couple of options of how to replicate this. One is an easy one. One needs slightly more work and you can use this concept for anything. So I'm going to start with a variance chart that will color in green the positive values and in red the negative values. And I'm going to show you another chart where we're going to highlight all the values that are above the average. So let's start. First of all, I have my data set. So in order to do my variance chart, I'm going to calculate a delta. So I'm going to do sales minus target, simple formula. Then we drag it down and then we put grid lines. Then I'm going to insert a chart. So I select this, I do insert. I click on this type of charts and I'm going to do 2D bar. If you see here, I have extra series. So let's remove them. I right click, select data. I don't want my sales. I don't want my target. I only want my delta. So I keep my delta here. I can call it here variance chart. And then I can just go here, select this, go to home. I do bold. I click on this one, press delete to remove this legend. Then we click on this axis. We bold it. Here we have the numbers or the data that is coming on top of my bar. So I don't want this. I'm going to right click format plot area. Here I couldn't get, for example, my axis. So I can come here and I can say, for example, vertical category axis. So I can select it or I can select it like this. So there are so many options. I'm just showing you a few. And then what we're going to do is here, if you go to labels, you have label position. We change from next to axis to low. So they come here and then we bold them. And if you see here, my labels are going from A to G this way. If I want to do the reverse, I have here categories in reverse order. So I click and now we have A to G going down. The next thing I want to do is get rid of these grid lines. So I'm going to click on it, press delete on the keyboards and they are gone. And then Finally, here I have my chart area, if you see. So I'm going to do no fill, no line. So we remove the borders. Now we're going to go to the fun, which is coloring those bars. So I click on them, the series. I go here and then I have invert if negative under the bucket. So I click on it. You can see I have some couple of colors. For the first color, I can click on it, select the green one. Once I do, I get another bucket for negative values automatically. So I can click on it, select my negative value color, and then I get it. Then I want to add the data labels. So I click on plus and I do data labels and my labels are here. So now if I change something, if I put, for example, for the first one, 56, you can see that it changes from green to red and it becomes negative. In the second chart, I want to highlight in a different color the values that are above average. So to do this, I need two series. One is the sales series, which is a normal one, and one additional series that I'm going to put on top of my sales series and highlight the values that I need. So let's create this column. We're going to call it highlight. And let's do the following. If sales is above average we're going to select these values and then we use f4 because we're going to drag the formula so we get the dollar signs if it's above then give me the value otherwise i'm going to use a function called na so i open parentheses and close parentheses be careful on this and then we close our parentheses why am i doing this because an A is very good for me for charts. Whenever there is an A, the Excel software will not put this value on the chart because it doesn't know what it is. And here, I only want to put the values that are above the average. So if I drag this and put grid lines, let me put the average here. 
just so you see it you can see that the average is 47 so those three values are above 47 so let's chart them so I'm gonna select this insert then we're gonna select a chart again here we have several series so we're gonna right click select data we want sales we don't want target we don't want Delta so we end up with my two series my sales and my highlights let's click on this legend press delete it's gone and here we change the chart title we call it highlight above average now we can do a bit of bolding so we click home bold click bold click and then bold and we remove the grid lines so we click on them delete then we remove format chart area we want to remove this box around it so no fill no border and we get this chart the next thing i need to do is i want this to come in front of this so then i would have highlighted my bar right so to do this you just click on one of the series you go here and you have something called series overlap if you see here i'm minus 27 percent if i do minus 100 percent they are very far but if i put them at 100 percent this one comes in front of the other one which is the effect i want now i'm going to show you a quick trick so if i go here and i do select data if by any chance this was like this you can see that i lose my second series so just to fix it if you have this problem just go there and just make it go down and then you have the effect then we need to change the colors so we go here we click on the bucket we change this let's assume i want something a bit lighter and for this one we click we change the color and we put this color then i need the data labels for those three bars and it should be dynamic so for example if i click on this series and i can just check i selected the right series i go here and i do data labels and i get them so now if we do a test and we put a random number so i'm going to use rand between 1 and 100 and then i just drag it down you can see my average changes and those are the bars that are above average so automatically i get the effect so this is it folks please let me know in the comment section if you have other situations where this might be useful and maybe i can do other videos and lessons to solve your issues but the concept remained the same you choose whatever you want to highlight in this and then it will get highlighted in the graph